Just like a bodybuilder strengthens his body, a meditator strengthens his mind. I firmly believe that the number one most important habit a human being could ever adopt to increase their quality of life is meditation. Meditation is a keystone habit, which means it's a practice that can flow into all other aspects of one's life. The reason meditation is so powerful is because it teaches us to become the observer rather than the character. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in our everyday experience, we get so caught up in the content of our life. We identify so strongly with and take so seriously our egoic pursuits that we end up suffering so much more than what is necessary. And because of that, our quality of life can decrease so much. We try to be this way or achieve this thing or get this score on an exam or whatever and we get so caught up in chasing these things, we become so fixated on the outcome that if even the slightest thing goes wrong, we get stress, we get anxious, we suffer. So we find ourselves simply chasing and not enjoying the process, not enjoying the journey of life. And 99% of life is the journey. Even 100% of life is the journey. You know, most people, they have these destinations in mind. And then once they reach their goals, once they reach that destination, it's like, okay. So meditation gives us a space to step outside the character, to step outside the one who is chasing this, or the one who does that, or the one who is suffering from this, to the one who is observing the one that is doing the chasing, to the one that is observing the one who is suffering. And staying on topic of the character, our character, which we can also call our ego, comes with so much baggage, so many beliefs about ourselves, so many which can be limiting and hold us back and make us suffer. Beliefs such as I'm worthless, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, I'm incompetent, stuff like this that our lives are absolutely ruled by and can make many of us suffer a lot and hold us back from achieving our goals and just enjoying you know, the journey of life in general. So when we meditate, we go into a space of no longer being the character. All of those limiting beliefs, all that baggage that comes with living life as the character, none of that matters during meditation. All your stress, all your anxiety, all your worries about your life, none of that matters during meditation because meditation is all about observing what is in awareness from a completely unattached, neutral point of view. Now the key to reaping benefits from a meditation practice is to be consistent. You must meditate every single day. It has to be a habit, otherwise it is not worthwhile. Remember what I said at the beginning, meditation is like bodybuilding. While bodybuilders are building the muscles of their flesh, meditators are building the muscle of mindfulness. And a bodybuilder doesn't see results right away. The results come from months and years of training. Meditation is the same way. In order to reap benefits, we must consistently meditate. So I said meditation builds the muscle of mindfulness, and we can define mindfulness as the ability to bring one's attention to the present moment without judgment of what is happening. This is exactly what I mean when I say we become the observer during meditation. An observer does not judge, identify with, or put an emotional charge over whatever is occurring within consciousness. All an observer does is observe. If you identify with or put an emotional charge over anything, then that's being the character because that's what the character does. The character is always orienting and evaluating anything in consciousness based on its needs and wants. So when we train this mindfulness muscle, when we stick to a meditation habit for months and years, what happens is that this learning to be the observer leaks into your everyday experience and the grasp that the character has over your mind decreases. And one can only imagine the benefits that happen once the character has less control over you, less stress, less anxiety, because you aren't so fixated on an outcome 
where you aren't so limited by a negative belief that the character had about itself, because you are mindful and content with the present moment. You also may just have an overall better mood, increased attention span, overall increased awareness of just everything that is happening in your experience. It can also help fight addictions and improve your sleep as well. The list of benefits goes on and on. And you can actually take this practice so deep that you completely dissolve the character. There's no ego, there's no sense of self left. This is what all the Buddhists talk about. This is why monks will spend 40 or 50 years of their life just meditating all day. What they are seeking is full liberation from the self. And this is called enlightenment. And in this state of awareness, you feel at one with absolutely everything in existence because the sense of self is no longer there. The character is realized as a complete illusion and is the very mechanism holding you back from experiencing this profound truth of oneness. The thought of becoming enlightened one day like locking down that awareness 24 seven really excites me, especially because I've had a couple enlightenment like experiences myself in the past, and they were utterly profound and absolutely amazing and completely shifted the paradigm on my beliefs about reality. But that's besides the point. You came here for a guide on meditation, and that's what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of this video, how to meditate and how to do it effectively and how to build that practice. So let's get into it. So to start meditating, it's easiest to find a quiet spot, whether that be in your home or outdoors in nature, just like I am doing in this video. I like to sit in a crisscross position because that's what is comfortable for me, but I know many people preach the traditional lotus position, which is like this. Personally, that is uncomfortable for me, but to start out, just do whatever is comfortable for you. Whatever position it is does not really matter to start out. Just one thing I don't recommend is lying down in bed because typically people just get sleepy doing that. So once you've found a quiet spot and gotten into position, what do you actually do with your awareness and with your focus? Well, there are numerous methods and types of meditation, but assuming you are watching this video because you are relatively inexperienced and just want to start your practice, I'll start you off with the beginner way, which is simply just focusing on your breath. And when you do this, make notice of every sensation that arises through your inhaling and exhaling how it feels through the nostril, how there's a pause between inhalation and exhalation. But do not judge any of these sensations. Do not label them as good or bad or peaceful or weird. Don't put any emotional charge behind any sensation that is experienced. Just simply observe it for what it is. And what you'll quickly find is that thoughts just begin appearing in your awareness. Oh man, I got work in two hours. Damn it, I really messed up on the test last week or wow, I am really hungry right now. But don't let these thoughts appearing in your awareness keep you from losing the focus on your breath. If you notice your mind wandering, just bring your awareness back to the breath. Now what you would have done in everyday life when these thoughts appeared is that you would have felt bad because you have work in two hours, or you would have damned yourself in your mind for failing that test, or you simply would have identified with the hunger and ate something. Now this is the character acting on the thoughts and sensations that appear in awareness. But when we meditate, all we do is observe those thoughts and sensations. We give them no emotional charges or judgment. And like I said, it is extremely difficult for most people to hold mindfulness at first, which is why I recommend just 10 minutes a day to start out. But remember, it's like training a muscle. So the more you train it, the longer and deeper your meditations will be, and the more that this mindfulness will leak into your everyday life. So are you getting an idea of how powerful this practice can be? It's all about not letting the ego mind have such a grasp over your life. When we simply observe and the mind of the character goes into the background, we can be content with the present moment. And that's where true happiness comes from because the ego mind is not projecting happiness to be something we attain in the future or is reminiscing about how it's something we could have now if we had acted differently in the past. But it takes time to reap these benefits from meditation. If you don't make it a priority to meditate every single day, then you won't see benefits. It has to be a habit. Personally, I saw no benefits until I was at least a month in, and now that I've been doing the practice for a while now, the benefits have increased even more since then. And in my everyday state, I'm a lot more calm, I'm a lot more content, and I'm literally just happier. 
I used to be a kid that was really hard on myself and would beat myself up when something didn't go my way. I would reminisce on my mistakes, and now I do that a lot less. Don't get me wrong, I still do it every now and then, but overall, life is so much better because of this practice. So start your practice. Start meditating today. Don't hold it off for tomorrow. Don't hold it off for next week. Do it now. This is the number one most important habit for you to have in order to have a happy and healthy life. Like I said, it is going to be difficult at first to you know, stay mindful for a long period of time. But something that I really recommend for beginners, this is something that really helped me, is the Waking Up app by Sam Harris. You know I'm not sponsored by it. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I was sponsored by the Waking Up app. You know, it's one of the best meditations app in the world, but um, no, I'm not sponsored by them. But it is a very good introductory uh, way to get into meditation. They have uh, all sorts of courses on there. Uh, they're kind of like month-long courses and kind of different sections of meditation, different types of meditation. And what you should start with is the introductory course where they are 10 minute guided meditations every single day for a month. And they teach you all different kinds of techniques, much more than what I went into in this video. I just taught you kind of basic breath with this video, just very beginner. Uh, but they go into all sorts of other techniques and sensations to focus on, which is extremely important if you wanna dive even deeper into this practice and gain even more benefits from this practice. So yeah, the Sam Harris Waking Up app, uh, it is paid, but Sam Harris believes that meditation should be available and free to everyone. So if you do wish to get it for free, you are able to do that. I will leave a link in the description if you wish to start the Waking Up app. It's such a great app, highly recommend. Uh, don't miss out, it's such an amazing app. And that's all I gotta say for this video, guys. Um, please like, comment, uh, and subscribe, and also share it with a friend because you know this is the habit, the number one most important habit for someone to build in order to have a happy and healthy life. So share it with them. Maybe it'll start them into the practice and then they'll be much more happier overall and their life will just become a lot better because of it. So that's all I wanted to say for this video, guys. Have a great day and peace.